You're listening to the Hour of the Time. I'm your host, William Cooper. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we begin the origin, the history, the dogma, and the identity of the ancient mystery religions which are now known as the Mystery Schools, the Order of the Quest, Freemasonry, the Ancient Order of the Rose and Cross, the Knights Templar, the Sovereign and Military Order of the Knights of Malta, the Order of St. John of Jerusalem, the Priory de Sion, the Thule Society, are sometimes known as the Thule Society, the Order, the Skull and Bones, the Russell Trust, the Jason Society, the Scroll and Key, the Illuminati, and I could go on and on and on and on. But the most important thing to realize is that they all have been collectively known throughout the ages as the Mystery Schools, the Illuminati, which literally means illumined ones. They are all one and the same, as you will come to know. And you will understand perfectly how they've been able to infiltrate all of our society. What you hear tonight does not necessarily reflect my views, our beliefs, our religion. They have ruled from the shadows, you see. And they call themselves the guardians of the secrets of the ages. And their first, their first religion was called astrotheology, or the worship of the heavens. And their first object of worship was the sun. The second object of worship was the moon. And everywhere you see the mystery schools or the mystery religion, you will see the symbols of the sun and the moon, also known as Osiris and Isis. For in the religion of the mystery schools, they believed that man was held prisoner in the Garden of Eden by an unjust and vindictive God. And that man was not told by this unjust and vindictive God that he could have the same power. And man was set free from the bonds of ignorance by Lucifer through his agent Satan. And many believe that the two are the same. And that's okay because maybe they are. And that through the gift of intellect, man himself will become God. Now, for those of you who understand what I am imparting to you now, you may not even have to listen any farther, for it explains everything that has ever happened in the history of man, and everything that is happening now, and all that is to happen in the future. They believe that the tree-dwelling ancestors of man were among the most intelligent beings of their distant age. And when these creatures finally abandoned the trees and walked fully upright, freeing their hands to serve as implements of their minds as well as their bodies, there began the most successful evolutionary drive toward higher intelligence ever witnessed in nature. Now notice Lucifer was called the son of the morning star. It was also called the Morning Star, and there is a great mystery here, because Christ also called himself the Morning Star. But I have been told by those who have been initiated in the mystery schools that Christ and Lucifer are one and the same being. What you believe, of course, is your own business, and is not my intention to make you believe anything but rather to impart to you what I have learned over many, many years of study into the secrets 
of those who worship the ancient mystery religions in secret for thousands of years. I do not advise you what you should believe or not believe, but I do advise you that we all need to learn as much as we can about everything that we can, because one thing I have learned in my life is that most of what we have ever been taught has been a lie, and that whoever these people are, who are the priests, the adepts, the initiates, the mystery schools. They are in control and they are shaping the future and that future will affect all of us so we had better learn as much about them as we can.